and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our stamp set Dream Big and its coordinating dies. We're also going to be introducing the Dream Big add-on dies too. So let's go ahead and check it out. This stamp set is so super cute. It has a unicorn front and also a unicorn back. And of course, sticking with our magical theme, we have a dragon front and then we also have the dragon back and you'll see how these work in just a little bit. There's also some great sentiments in this set and we have reading is so magical, dream big, have a happy birthday, books are true magic, I agree, I love reading, believe in yourself, you're one of a kind, Rar. <laughs> it also has a to and from to turn these bookmarks into a tag. And then we have some other sentiments. Have a magical day. You're unique. And also may all your wishes come true, which I love that one for birthdays. Next, we're going to use some Copic markers to add some color to these adorable images. And I love coloring the unicorn's mane in a rainbow kind of palette here. I just think it looks so cute and it's so much fun to do. And I'm also going to color the little horn there with some light gray and then the hose with some light gray too. I'll do a really light pink for his snout and then I like to use a really, really light turquoisey blue to line him just to give him like a little magical air and it makes the white color of the unicorn pop. Now these cute characters are so much fun because they can be used with the add-on die to create really cute bookmarks and tags, but they can also be used on their own too. And we showed you in the Flamingo Floaty video some of those cool ideas and we're going to be showing you another idea too. I just love that the die creates this like almost like a little hook effect so it's really easy to hook the little unicorn or dragon on different things. Now the dragon is so much fun to color in. Of course I'm doing a green here which is kind of what I would traditionally color a dragon in but you should see oh my gosh the design team samples and some cards later on that we're going to show you in this video use either purples or like bluish grays. You can do a lot of fun things with the dragon. But here I'm just going to be blending out these green markers and then doing some nice like really light kind of neon -y green there in the center and towards the top. And then for his horns and little spikes I'm going to bring in some purples. I'm also adding little dots all around the dragon. I feel like that texture just kind of makes him come to life. It looks so cool. And I made sure my dots were really tiny and then some bigger ones and varying in sizes and I feel like that makes him look really awesome too. Next, we're going to take a look at the coordinating dies, and you can bend these apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate them. We're going to take those dies and we're going to line them up with our stamped images, hold them in place with some low tack tape, and then we're going to run it through the die cut machine and have perfectly cut out images every time. And here is a look at what those images look like when they're all cut out. Now here are the Dream Big add-on dies, which once again, you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. And these are the dies that create the really cool tag or bookmark. There are two different ways to use these add-on dies. And the first way is to line them up with the stamped image. So here I've stamped and colored the dragon and the unicorn just like we did before. I can look through this add-on die just like a coordinating die, line it up with my stamped image and hold it in place with some tape. Now we'll do the same thing with the dragon. So I'm just gonna look through that opening. You can see I'm just kind of shifting it, lining it up nicely. We'll hold it in place with some low tack tape and we're gonna be able to run these through the die cut machine and our stamped image is going to be nice and flush on this really cute tag or bookmark that's been die cut. And then here is a look at what those tags look like and they are so super cute. Now I love to read. I read all the time. I do book of the month club. I just love it. So I'm going to make these into bookmarks. For the unicorn one, I'm going to stamp reading is so magical in some bubblegum ink, which is a nice bright pink. And then for the dragon, we are going to stamp books are true magic in some grape soda ink. And I think that looks really cute with his horns. Next, I'm going to take out some lawn trimmings and I'm going to use some of the sparkle kind. So the pink one is the pretty in pink and then that bluish purple one is the Mermaid's Lagoon Sparkle Cord. And I love it so much because it's made out of hemp so it's really sturdy but then it also has that sparkle in it. It's just a lot of fun. And I'm going to double it up and then I'm going to double it up again so that it's like a nice thick cord. So this is going to be a bookmark. When I make just a tag, oftentimes I'll just double it up the, the one time and then do the tag like that. So I'm going to feed that 
through and then just pull the rest of that. And then I can just trim off any of the excess and this is such a cute little bookmark. Now, next up, we're gonna work on the dragon and we're gonna be using the ocean sparkle cord. Once again, we're going to double it up and then double it up again and then feed it through the hole in the bookmark and cut off any of the extra. And now these bookmarks are all done and oh my goodness, are they just the cutest things ever. I just love them so much. And of course you could make these into gift tags as well, which is really great. Now here is a little comparison to the second method and we're gonna layer die cuts on top and we're gonna show you how to do that one next. So it's just two different looks and both are awesome. And so the reason you'll want to do this layering technique is so that you can use different colors of cardstock or pattern paper as your tag. So just kind of depending on the look you're going for. So we're gonna die cut the tags here out of some shimmer cardstock and some textured cardstock. And now we're gonna use those pieces that we die cut earlier with the coordinating dies. And you can see how they layer right on top of the tag. Now to add these to the tag, what you need to do is just kind of bend right there. See, we're gonna bend at that little piece and we're just gonna trim off any of the excess. And that's gonna make it so that you can layer it right over the tag. Now the reason we have that little piece there is so that you can kind of have those little guys grab onto something on the front of the card. So you can feed them right through and have them grab on. And it's a really fun way to use these characters. Or you can trim that little piece off and then you can layer them right on top of the bookmarks or the tags. Now, one of the best parts about this stamp set are the little bums. I just can't take it. They're so cute and so fun. And so we're gonna add that to the back of the tag. And we're gonna show you a really fun way to use that little dragon bum in a card coming up. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the unicorn. We trimmed off that excess little tab and then we're gonna flip it over and we can add the little unicorn bum to the back and everything layers perfectly and it looks, looks so great. Now to add our sentiments here, we're gonna be using once again, the Dream Big stamp set. And this is the fourth in our series of bookmark tag sets. So we have a bunch of other sets that have cute characters like bunnies and frogs and so many adorable things. I just love these so much. And we'll link to those in the description below. So for the dragon, we're gonna stamp Dream Big on the front and then we're gonna do the have a happy birthday on the back. So this will be a really cute birthday gift tag for a little gift bag or something like that. For the unicorn, we're gonna use one of the book sayings and it's the books are true magic. And then on the back, we're going to actually use the two and the love and it's got a little line so that you can write your name and the recipient's name. Next, we're gonna add some unicorn tail sparkle trimmings. And of course, it's the perfect one because it's called unicorn tail, right? It's one of my favorites because it has kind of this whole rainbow across the whole thing. It's this nice variegated twine. And so we're just gonna take that, we're gonna double it up, and then we're gonna feed it through the hole on the bookmark and then add our little twine. And we're also gonna do the same thing with the dream big one. We're gonna use the Mermaid Lagoon twine and we're gonna just gonna feed that through. And that little sparkle just makes them so special. And here is our finished tag and bookmark. In this case, using the layered on die cut method versus the direct stamp method that we used earlier. Both are awesome and they look really great. It's just different looks depending on what you're going for. Now next up, we're going to be creating a card using that little dragon bum. And we're gonna start off by using the largest of the outside in stitched rectangles. And we're gonna die cut some white cardstock and do some stenciling. We're gonna be using the cloudy stencil and this is my favorite stencil of all time. All four sides has different sort of poofiness of clouds. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna ink it with some merman ink starting on the stencil and then going up onto the cardstock. And then what we're gonna do is take the stencil, move it out of the way and then rotate it to a different level of poofiness of cloud and then kind of keep going back and forth down this card between all of the different styles of clouds. And that's what's gonna give it this really cool kind of magical sky look look. And I just love using the merman ink for this. I think it looks so gorgeous. Another way to get some variety in your clouds is to put the stencil at an angle. And so you can see Rebecca's doing that here. She's also overlapping the clouds just a little bit and that's a really cool look too. So adding angles, moving the different sides of the cloudy stencil give you so many cool looks. Now next up, we're gonna add some gold sparkle to this. So just gonna add some water to this really pretty gold watercolor. We're gonna mix that up. And then this is Rebecca's technique and I love it. She kind of smears it on the block and then she's actually tapping the block. And this is gonna give you really tiny little splatters. So you can see she's picking up some more, tapping the edge of the block and letting those little splatters fall down. And she's doing it pretty high above the cardstock. And I just think this look is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love how they're just tiny, tiny little splatters. 
Now this is going to be a magical card, so we're gonna take out some rainbow paper with the Really Rainbow, and that's my favorite paper in the entire Really Rainbow collection. I just love it so much. We're gonna cut that down to be the standard five and a half by four and a quarter, and then we've got our standard size card base too, and we're gonna layer those together. Go along with that beautiful really rainbow paper, we're going to be die cutting a rainbow for this card too. And we're gonna be using the stitched rainbow dies. And I love these dies so much because all of the arcs are separate. So you only have to die cut one of each of the colors versus all of the arcs being together on one die. I hope that makes sense. Then of course you have your base as well. So we're gonna die cut the base and you'll see how we can layer all of these pieces together to create the best rainbow. So we're gonna take some tape runner and layer it all over this piece. Double-sided adhesive sheets would be perfect perfect for this too. And then we're gonna layer the arcs on there. And we're gonna start at the very bottom and then work the way up, just kind of fitting them all together. And you can just see how beautiful this rainbow is looking. I love the stitch detail, ah, oh, it's so pretty. We'll finish up the rainbow by adding some red cardstock, and then we're gonna start to layer the rainbow on that beautiful cloudy piece that we stenciled earlier. And we're gonna layer it with a little of the rainbow peeking off the edge because we're just gonna be trimming it off the edge to create kind of a cool continuous look. The stitch rainbow die also has these awesome stitch clouds, so we're gonna layer those around the rainbow die. And I love the look of the cloud behind, and then of course of the traditional look with the clouds at each end of the rainbow too. Now here is where we're gonna incorporate the Dream Big stamp set, but not using it with the whole tag concept. We're gonna make it look like this dragon is flying away since you're looking at the back of him. And I think this idea is so cool. And we are recreating a card by Audrey, and my goodness, when we saw this card, we just flipped out, we couldn't believe it and we just knew we had to make it for the video because it is so clever. I just love how it looks like he's flying away. Ah, it's so cool. Now, this set also has some great sentiments that are perfect for cards, not just ones that are perfect for tags. And of course, we're gonna be using the Have a Magical Day and then we're gonna die cut it with a sentiment banner die. Once we have that banner all die cut, we can layer some foam squares on that and then put that over the clouds of the rainbow, kind of hanging off the edge. And then we're gonna tuck one more cloud in there. Um, and I really like this look. I just think it looks really pretty. It just makes the whole thing look kind of cloudy and poofy. And now is where it's really gonna make the card look amazing. We're gonna trim off the edges of the rainbow, the cloud, and the banner. And you'll see when you do that, there's something about it that just makes it feel like that dragon is really flying kind of off into the rainbow off into the sunset, right? I just think it looks so adorable. And now we can layer that on that pretty rainbow paper. Now here we have some gold sparkle cardstock and this is the Hearts and Stars Stinny Tag. And it's one of my favorite dies because it lets you die cut lots of tiny little hearts and stars in different sizes to use as confetti on cards. And that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna add little drops of glue using the glue tube. And then we're gonna layer on different sizes of these little gold sparkle stars. And doesn't that look so pretty? So we're gonna to continue this down the card and there's really no right or wrong way to add on these stars just adding sparkle all around just adds to the magical feel of the card so we're going to keep layering all of these cute little hearts all around alternating the sizes and also kind of the different ways in which the stars are facing and that really helps kind of fill in that whole card we'll even tuck that little star behind the sentiment to kind of tie the whole thing in together and now this card is all done and oh my goodness i just love it so much i love love the look of that dragon just flying off into the rainbow. Oh, I want to make like a million of these. Now, next up, we wanted to show you another fun way to use these tag dies, these add-on dies. And so we've die cut them at a white cardstock and we're going to be doing some cool ink blending. To make the ink blending quick and easy, we're gonna line all of these up on a mat and then we're gonna be using some post-it note tape as a mask. And we're gonna line that up right with that top stitched edge of the tag. So you can see we're just gonna line them all up under this long piece of tape. You could use a post-it note for this too and that would work really great. Then we're gonna take some awesome Distress Oxide here. We're gonna use some Kitsch Flamingo, Wilted Violet, and Peacock Feathers. And it's got some like caboodle vibes to me. Does, does anyone know what I mean? Or like hyper color t-shirts, like kind of early 90s. I love it, I just love this color palette. And we're gonna ink across all of them at once. And this is a really quick and easy way to make a ton of ink blended tags. You could even line up more of the tags and ink blend them all together. 
Now here you can see we're adding our purple and then our turquoise. And then we can go back and forth between these colors, blending these colors together so that you can see as we keep adding the color, it's gonna kind of keep blending it and look really pretty. Also, once it dries, it's gonna look really, really awesome too. And they don't have to be perfect. You can do this really fast. And I love the idea of being able to create a bunch of ink blended tags all at once. And right now we are recreating some tags by Tammy. Oh, and these are just so pretty. And then we're removing the mask, my favorite part. It looks so cool and awesome. Now for the back of these tags, we're gonna die cut some pretty shimmer cardstock. And so we're just gonna die cut a bunch of these. That way we can add a pretty, pretty color to the back of these as well. Now here we have a bunch of dragons and unicorns. We've colored them in this fun color palette on the main of the unicorn. And then the dragons, we've got these fun purple dragons and turquoise dragons. These color palette is just so awesome. I love these, Tammy. And then here you can see how we're gonna layer the two pieces together so that we can have the fun ink blending on the front and then the really pretty shimmer cardstock on the back. And then we're gonna layer that little unicorn bum and then flip it over and on the front we can layer the unicorn. And what we're gonna do is bend that little piece back and and trim that off and then we can just layer the unicorn right on top to create the tag and we're going to repeat this for all four of the tags. Then we'll stamp some sentiments from the set. We're gonna make these all into bookmarks and then we'll add some twine to finish them off. And now these beautiful ink blended bookmarks are done. These are so gorgeous. They would make such a pretty gift or even just a gift for yourself because they would just be so beautiful to look at every day. And next up, we have some incredible cards and tags by the design team. And first up here, Callie used the all the dots paper for her tags. And I think it looks so pretty with the unicorn. Then here we have some really cute gift tags from Yainea and she's added them onto a package with a cute bow and some fun extra little tags and I just love the look. This little book by my Kara is so pretty. She used a no line coloring technique and the other really cool thing is that she made a tassel. I want to learn how to do that. I think it looks so cool. Here's the card by Audrey that inspired us to make ours today. I just love that little dragon on the card. And here you can see a beautiful card by Elena where she also incorporated the cute little unicorn and he's hooking onto that little cloud from Unicorn Picnic. These bookmarks from Elise are so sweet. She used the all the dots paper, but she used the stripe side and it looks really, really cute with both the dragon and the unicorn. And I love that added sparkle. These cards by Grace are incredible. It's an awesome slimline card, but hidden behind the unicorn is that adorable little tag or bookmark. So I love that this card is really special like that. She also shows why we have that cool little die cut with the little tab because you can layer them behind things like clouds and it makes them really, really cool on card fronts. These tags by Letitia are so sweet and I just love that pink unicorn. And here Maureen decided to add our cute little dragon hooked on to the couch with those adorable screen time kids. And it's a reveal wheel too. So she added all the sentiments in that beautiful reveal wheel thought bubble cloud. And last but not least, we have those beautiful ink blended tags by Tammy. Oh, so gorgeous, so beautiful. And we cannot wait to see what you guys create with this adorable dream big stamp set. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.